community. What do you think of when you hear the word community? I know for me, some of the things I think about are fellowship, a gathering of people in one place, time where people intentionally come together to share as one. And growing up in the church, I remember the church basement dinners. I remember the church picnics. I remember the ice cream socials, the times after church where regularly we would get together just to be together as one to fellowship. But as I began to grow in my faith and understand what my relationship with Jesus really needed to look like, I began to better see the picture that Jesus painted for us of what a Christian community truly looks like. And in the early church, we see in Acts 2, 42 through 47, Jesus shows us exactly what the beginning of his church did to practice Christian community as one. It starts out like this, Acts 2, 42, all the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to the sharing in meals and to prayer. There was a deep sense of awe that came over them and the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. And all the believers met together in one place and they shared everything they had. They sold their property, they sold their possessions, and they shared the money they had with those in need. They worshiped together at the temple each day. They met in homes for the Lord's Supper. They shared their meals with great joy and generosity. And all the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of all the people. And each day the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. You know, I believe that this passage shows us four things that the early Christian church showed us about what Christian community really looks like that we can learn from and apply to our lives today. The first thing is this, devotion. And, and, and when you hear the word devotion, you might think of, oh, a, a short scripture shared or something shared to encourage someone with. But we see here in Acts 2 that devotion was what the early Christians had in their relationship with Jesus and their relationship to one another. You see, the early Christians understood that to be devoted to Jesus meant that they, their lives were completely sold out and, to, and committed to Him. And not only were their lives sold out to Jesus, their lives were sold out to one another. So I wanna ask you this question, what would your life look like if you were devoted to your fellow coworker, if you were devoted to your fellow believers, if you were devoted to your family in the same way that you were devoted to your relationship with God? The second thing that we see that the early church practice was compassion. We see here in Acts 2, uh, 244 that the early Christians shared everything they had. They went as far as even selling their property, selling their possessions to support a fellow brother or a brother or, or sister in need. They sold their possessions and their property if someone had a need. And, and I don't know about you, but I read that and I think, man, how could I do that in my life? How could I give up my own wants and desires to, pour, to support someone uh, that has a need that's greater than my own. But that is the compassion and love that Jesus showed us, friends. Jesus gave everything he had so that we could have life. And we see that in the early church, uh, these Christians, they were supporting the needs of their community. That's what authentic Christian community truly looks like. So what does that look like in your life? What does compassion look like for your fellow brother or sister in Christ? What does it look like for uh, a fellow brother or sister who's lost their job, who can't pay a medical bill, who's hurting from a broken relationship within their family or friends? What does it look like to show compassion to someone who feels marginalized and broken? I believe Christian community is shown best when we show the same compassion that Jesus showed us to those around us. The third thing we see from the early church is the frequency of which they gathered together. We see here in verse 46 that it says that they gathered together every single day. And that not only did they gather together every single day, but they did that to pray, to fellowship, to have communion with God, and to praise God with their entire life. Living that type of authentic Christian community that happens daily is a struggle for me. 
Like I have to commit my life fully to Jesus so that every single day I'm making the decision to share in that fellowship with other believers. It isn't just a Sunday gathering. It isn't just showing up and, and making a tithe or, or being a part of this program or ministry. It is a daily commitment to doing life together in Christian community. And you know, here's the truth about the time we spend with one another. When we do that more often, we grow together. We draw closer to one another. We, we better understand what it looks like to show compassion, what it, what it looks like to be devoted to one another in our faith. So what would it look like for you every single day to have fellowship with another believer? Maybe it's a phone call, uh, a time of prayer with a friend. Uh, maybe it's meeting up for coffee with someone. Maybe it's taking that time to sit down with your family at the end of the day and just worship Jesus together and read his word. We see that across scripture that when we grow in our relationship with God, we do that by having a committed daily relationship with him. And that changes everything. And the final thing we see in Acts 2 is this. When the believers gathered together, when they had, had authentic Christian community together, they grew in their faith. They grew in their faith. They grew in their love and devotion for one another. We see that in John 13, verse 34 through 35. Jesus talked about what that love looks like when we have unity in our faith. He said, I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. That's how you should love each other. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. When we gather together, when we show compassion, when we do that on a daily and weekly basis, we will grow in our faith and in our unity together. We will grow in our love for God and our love for one another. Friends, we are the body of Christ. We are a Christian community and we need one another. So what will you do today to pursue that type of community?